In this video, I'm going to be going through AQA's large data set, which is all about cars. Now, in the first bit uh, of this video, I'm going to be going through the categories. Okay, so you should be aware that the data set is split up into several different categories, and you should be aware of the main headings for those. So first of all, there are five makes of cars. BMW, Ford, Toyota, Vauxhall, Volkswagen. So you should know that it's just those cars that are being considered in the data set. Now there are only three regions that are considered, London, Northwest and Southwest. There are five propulsion types, petrol, diesel, electric, gas petrol and electric petrol. Now of those, there is only one car in the data set which is electric and there is only one car which is gas petrol. There are five keeper title IDs that are mentioned in the data set, but only four of them are actually used. So this one saying not used isn't used, okay? So even though it is mentioned in the data set, that's not actually there. Okay, so it's split up into male, female, unknown, which includes uh, reverend, doctors, etc., and company vehicles. Now I would go into any exam with an awareness of these categories, okay, so that I can refer to them if I needed to. We're now going to go through uh, the key bits of information that I think are very useful to you. The first bit is that the data set only considers two different years. So 2002, 2016, these are the years of manufacture. Now the reason why they have put this gap between 2002 and 2016 is because it includes the emissions scandal that happened between those years, okay? So it is worth knowing that yes, there are only two year groups that you consider, and in the intervening years, there was the emissions scandal, which is worth having a quick read up on. I think it's very important that you know the units for the, um, the different categories that they consider. So uh, for the emissions, so that includes uh, CO emissions, carbon monoxide, CO2, carbon dioxide, um, and hydrocarbons, etc. They are measured in grams per kilometer. Mass of the vehicle is measured in kilograms, and the engine size is measured in cubic centimeters. Now included within the mass for each of the vehicles that is in the data set, they've included a 75 kilo driver. So they've done an average uh, driver uh, mass, 75 kilos, and that's included in the mass for each vehicle. So if, for example, a question said, what is the actual mass for a car in the data set, then you need to subtract 75 kilos from it. Now, especially for particulate emissions and hydrocarbon emissions, uh, you should be well aware of a lot of data is missing for vehicles for that. Um, so there are a lot of gaps, particularly for uh, the particulate emissions, okay? As well as you should be on the lookout for errors. So there are situations within the data set where the mass of a vehicle has been given as zero kilos, which is obviously an error. Okay, that can't be correct. Uh, so you need to be aware that that data needs to be cleaned first before you would be able to look at, uh, say, the mean and standard deviation of the whole population. So that kind of summarizes the majority of the information from the large data set. You'll notice that I haven't gone into any particulars about numbers that you should memorize. Okay, um, this is really the only one I've mentioned, 75 kilos. Okay, um, but the more you can kind of like play around with the data set and see what's there, um, if you can. Uh, look at one of the columns and get rid of, let's say, everything apart from petrol, just see what the data looks like, or everything apart from uh, just that electric car, can you find the electric car, for example? You know, things like that, it's well worth having a play around with, but don't worry too much. It's all about just having an idea about what the data set has and being able to answer questions, small questions, based upon it.